Good morning everyone, here from London once again but today we're not going to be filming a video in London because right now we're at Victoria Coach Station and we're going to be doing a tour to the Stonehenge, the famous site in England and also Bath which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful towns around here First the coffee to wake up, we are very tired <laughs> Yeah, we woke up at 6am, it's around 7am now Very busy London as usual Always back. So we finally arrived at the site of Stonehenge. Probably took about two hours to get here overall. And the car park was way back there. So there was like a shuttle that brought us here. And here it is, the most famous Stone Age site in the world, Stonehenge. So I think this is as close as we can get. Is it what you expected? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I thought it was bigger. I thought it was going to be bigger. Yeah, but it's cool. I mean, thinking about the history, it's very interesting. Yeah, and the fact that that is like 5,000 years old. But it was built over a thousand years. So from 3000 BC to 1500 BC, people were around here building this thing. So there's still a lot of mystery about this site because they don't really know exactly why it was built. There's a few theories though, because they found cremated bones here. So some people think that it might have been some sort of ancient burial ground, like a temple of the dead. And another theory is that it might be some sort of solar calendar that could track the position of the sun, the stars and the moon because of its layout. Could be a mix of both though, who knows. few signs explaining some different things around here these are some of the other burial grounds that are around this area you can see they were kind of like hills not exactly like the Stonehenge it says that the people that were buried had these kind of objects here not sure if it's jewelry so some of those other sites are even older than the Stonehenge a sign back there said there's some that are like a thousand years before so 6,000 years old. And another one of the big mysteries is also how they built it. Not only why they built it, because obviously back then, that must have been really difficult to make. Especially because some of the stones on top are lifted above, right? How on earth did they do that? And some of the rocks that they found here are from 150 miles away in Wales. So that's another question is how they brought it this far to this spot. So we also get access to a museum area here. I guess this is how the Neolithic people will have lived. The little huts. It's almost similar to the, the huts that we saw in uh, in Mexico, the Mayan huts. And in Brazil, in other places too. Yeah, yeah it was always like this. So this is a replica of one of the upright stones at Stonehenge. They think that perhaps this could have been one of the methods to lift it. It says that the original one was 28 tons 
the one that's this size. It's mentioned in here about how the ancient Egyptians moved stones far larger than the ones here in Stonehenge. 400 tons. Yeah, I guess this was the bed. Not very comfortable bed. <laughs> Imagine living here in the winter, in the cold winter. Yeah, the English winter. I mean, it's pretty damn cold today. Already. <laughs> in Bath now. Earlier in the video I said town, it's actually a city and we got four hours here so quite a long time. We're gonna be having lunch here too. Got a nice little park area. Our bus just parked here and yeah really liking the look of it so far. Yeah it looks very nice and again the, the weather is helping a lot. Yeah the weather is absolutely perfect. Look at this, barely any clouds. So this city was established by the Romans around 2,000 years ago. Here on the left that is looking pretty Roman right there. And it's actually named Bath because of them too, because there are Roman baths here, which we will be visiting later on. So that is why the name is called that. A yeah, nice amount of movement here it seems. Wow, really impressive church, look at that one. So that right there is the Bath Abbey, one of the main sites to see from the 7th century. But it has been rebuilt a few times. I think the Roman bath is in here, we're going to visit that later on. You can probably see that everything is this kind of honey colour and that is because it's made from bath stone, a kind of stone that's in this area, kind of limestone. So you're going to see that many of the buildings are this kind of colour. Makes it look really nice. Wow, so impressive this building though. The Abbey. The door looks absolutely epic too. The wooden carvings. Carvings everywhere. Stone carvings. Coming my way to North Carolina Staring down the road and I pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers And hoping to Riley I can see my baby tonight So we've now entered the Roman Bass It's 26 pounds per person and we did schedule our visit online for 3 p.m. It does sell out here. I don't think you can always just turn up. So this is the entrance. Already looks really impressive here. And I guess here are the baths. Ah, so it's two floors. Yeah, that's the main bath down there. Carol got an audio guide. So I think this is actually the main hot spring here. You can see the bubbles. So it's at 46 degrees Celsius, bubbles up into the king's bath, which was built in the 12th century. Not by the Romans and that part. The terrace that we're standing on now was built in the 1800s but the great bath down there was from the Roman times. So maybe this part is the only part from the Roman times. 
rest was built at a later date. I like the cool statues that they have. You can see the abbey in the background there too. Since you've been listening to that so much, tell me some interesting facts. Uh, I just heard that the, the water that's coming from within the earth now was once rain, rain water. So it was like the rain falling and then it went through the cracks and, and now it's going inside back. the earth and now it's coming back. It's hot, very hot. I got a dance going on in the square. out the sacred spring overflow so the extra water flows down here into a Roman drain <laughs> you feel a bit of the heat yeah yeah look at all the steam coming up there Well, here is the remains of a temple that used to be here. Apparently that's one of the best preserved carvings of the Roman era in the world. So here you can see the Roman Empire at its peak. So England was pretty much like the final frontier. They never got into Scotland or Ireland. It's really cool in here though, loads of different artifacts and remains, different parts of the temple. drink the water from the spring. It doesn't smell that great. It doesn't taste good. Does it taste good? No. Yeah, so it does smell weird, like Carol said. Yeah, it tastes weird, but not too bad. It's supposed to be healthy, so I'll down it. And drink it all. Got nice music going on everywhere here. So we're going for the pub lunch once again. Nice little pub here. And yeah, this is a feast. Looks a lot bigger than the portion that we got in London. So I went for the steak and ale pie. £14.25 And guess what I got <laughs> Again, fish and chips, my favourite Fish and chips? Oh yeah Thank you Enjoy the meals? Thank you Didn't know you'd get bread as well Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. bread as well I think your fish is bigger than yesterday's too Yeah, wow It's yummy Yeah, so the fish and chips, £15.95 yeah, I always love the, the crust on the pies So, so good. Got some funky pub music going on. Vlog music. Funky vlog music. So I just put the gravy on the mashed potato and when I tasted it, I was like, wow, that tastes like wine. And then I just realized on the menu, it does have wine. That's an ingredient. So really good. How's it taste compared to yesterday? It's better too? Better too. Bigger and better. <laughs> yeah, bigger, better, that's good.
So we're now at yet another one of the main sites, which is called the circus. It's just like a big circle area of these buildings that all look identical. And apparently the architect did this circular design because of the Stonehenge. And as I mentioned earlier, it is all the bath stone. So that's why it's still the honey color. Pretty much everywhere we've been walking is that same color. Looks really nice. And just like in London, if the sun is out, the people are out sunbathing at the parks. All of England actually. If you go anywhere in England, there'll all be sunbathing at the parks when it's nice and sunny. Sun's out, sun's out. <laughs> Pretty much. And right next to the park is one of the other main attractions, this street called the Royal Crescent. Kind of similar to the circus one. It even curves around. It's like half a circle though, not a full circle. So the majority of this city was built during the Georgian era of England around the 18th century when King George ruled. So a lot of the architecture and buildings that you're seeing is from the Georgian era. And this is considered to be one of the best places in England for Georgian era architecture. So when they have like a series or a film from that time, a lot of the time they come here to yeah film because it looks so perfect, like identical to how it was. And it's kind of similar to London where you see there's an underground floor. You get that quite a lot in London too. So all the buildings are like that. They all have like an underground bottom floor. be our last stop of the tour because we're running out of time so that's called the Pulteney Bridge you can cross it there's supposed to be shops there's a bakery too I'm gonna see if there's some scones there got the nice water flowing down so that is also a Georgian bridge supposed to be styled after the bridges in Italy in uh, Venice and Florence and you can do boat tours here if we were here for longer we'd do that that'd be cool From the bakery, I was able to get the two scones. Got some jam here, strawberries, I think that's cream. Some tea with milk and uh, lemonade, right? Mm -hmm. And that was £16.90 overall. I haven't had a scone in years. <laughs> They're really nice. They're kind of like fluffy, very soft. It's mainly uh, flour, sugar, butter. I think that's about it really. This one has raisins though, so that's nice. And milk. And milk, yeah. You wanna bite? Yeah, first time trying it. It's good, but I think it will be better with the jam. Yeah, some extra flavor. All right, so it's time to leave Bath now, unfortunately. Definitely a place that we'd like to spend multiple days. Is this ours? I think so. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the buses are from the same company, so it's hard to know. I think that's our guy with the flag, isn't it? John. John. John the flag man. 
We ended up spending the next day in London once again but we didn't do much filming. We visited a tavern on the riverside of the Thames called the Anchor which was built in 1615, probably the oldest tavern that we've ever been to. It is the only surviving river tavern from the time of William Shakespeare. Carol drank some wine and I had a nice Guinness there overlooking the River Thames. We only have these two videos from England for now as we were just passing through quickly on an extended layover. If you enjoyed the videos please hit the like button to support us, subscribe to see more videos like this and we will see you in the next one.